is the uh, Evans Echo Pet. Um, as you can see, all the controls are on the front panel here. There's really nothing in the uh, in the back to speak of. You could say this, as you could see, this is a delay knob. You got your repeat uh, tone knob. Although honestly, I can't really hear a huge difference. Mine just might be messed up. This is your actual echo volume. You've got two instrument inputs here with different uh, levels. And then you also have microphone inputs. Uh, I just pretty much stick with the instrument inputs. Uh, it's got a couple nicks. Uh, as you can see, the case isn't like in the best shape, but it's completely functional, and that's what matters. I found it, uh, I think, at a garage sale for like ten bucks, and I, it was definitely a good investment. It's dub in a box. Uh, I haven't really heard much about these guys, but the uh, it's an excellent lo-fi analog echo. I love it. This is the uh, Evans Echo Pet. Um, as you can see, all the controls are on the front panel here. There's really nothing in the uh, in the back to speak of. You could say this, as you could see, this is a delay knob. You got your repeat uh, tone knob. Although honestly, I can't really hear a huge difference. Mine just might be messed up. This is your actual echo volume. You've got two instrument inputs here with different uh, levels. And then you also have microphone inputs. Uh, I just pretty much stick with the instrument inputs. Uh, it's got a couple nicks. Uh, as you can see, the case isn't like in the best shape, but it's completely functional, and that's what matters. I found it, uh, I think, at a garage sale for like ten bucks, and I it was definitely a good investment. It's dub in a box. Uh, I haven't really heard much about these guys, but the uh, it's an excellent lo-fi analog echo. I love it.